Hi, I'm Dave of Bourbon Astro. Uh, for a while now, I've been learning how to use Green Swamp Server in place of um, EQ Mod, just because EQ Mod is becoming more and more outdated. And even though in Windows 10 they say that they're going to support uh, VB6 scripting and all that, uh, if you're moving over to Windows 11, then there's a possibility that EQ Mod might not work. And so instead of playing that kind of a game, I just figured that I would just man up or woman up, if you will, and just make the jump to Green Swamp Server. I did that and in the four nights that I used it, I encountered issues uh, when I would do Meridian Flips and I would do Meridian Flips early enough that I could catch the issues. And so what I'm going to do here in this video is show you the few places where you might want to tweak both PHD2 and Green Swamp Server so that they play well together. Okay, let me paint a picture for you. And probably the best way to paint the picture is to actually show you the guiding graph um, that I encountered on at least three nights. Now what would happen is my deck would just start going in the opposite direction. And my guiding was just all messed up. And so what I would do is I would shut down the PC, bring it back up, and then reset everything, and then I would be good. And so that's what I did for three nights. And then the fourth night, I'm like, there's got to be some answer to this as to why um, when I do the Meridian Flip, that guiding's not picking back up. And it was frustrating. And so, <clears throat> let me show you the guide graph. So here we go. This is the guide graph from the night before or a couple nights back. And the meridian flip happens. And it's settling down. The scope is here. It's settling down. And then it just starts picking back up. And lo and behold, deck, which is this red, just goes off and it's like going in the opposite direction of where it needs to and it keeps sending <coughs> pulses in order to correct and nothing's happening it's just going off the charts and so this is at the point in time that I would um, basically shut down the scope and close everything out and then restart after doing some digging, what I found was that there were a couple settings that needed to be done, but they weren't where I expected them to be. They were in PHD2, that's the first set of settings, and then the other set of settings was in Green Swamp Server. And I kind of had suspicions about one of the settings, uh, but I wasn't 100% sure. So PHD2 settings first. And again, this is if you're using Green Swamp Server and you're coming from the EQ mod um, user. You've been an EQ mod user for a while now and now you're picking up Green Swamp Server. And this is something that you have to do in Green Swamp Server, but not necessarily in EQ mod because EQ mod handles this automatically, but Green Swamp Server doesn't. So what you have to do is, what ends up happening is, when you do a Meridian Flip, where you've been shooting this way, and so deck is moving in this direction, when you do your flip, now deck is moving in the opposite direction. And so you have to tell it, for deck, to go in reverse after you do a Meridian Flip. And again, it's automatic in EQ Mod but it's not automatic. There is no automatic setting in Green Swamp Server, but there is a setting here in PHD2 that will do that for you. So what you do is you open up your PHD2, and I got it here opened up, 
and you go into um, guide so you got file and guide and you go down to advanced settings <coughs> dialog box op op opens up and you go to the guiding tab and you notice down here it says reverse deck output after meridian flip and you have to check that if you do not check this box then the deck is going to go in the opposite direction of where it needs to go and you're going to end up with a guide graph like I did where deck just goes off into never 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 land so that's one of the first things you got to do if you want to at least take care of the meridian flip piece the other piece um, which I struggled to try to figure out where to do it in Green Swamp Server. So here's Green Swamp Server. As you go into settings, right here, and you notice you got RA guiding pulse percent and deck guiding pulse percent. In the EQ mod, they say to set those at about 90%. I always set them at about 70. I found that 90 was just a little bit too much, but 70, uh, the, mount, the mount that I have anyways, responded better. So you can easily change these in the drop down here, and you can set them <clears throat> to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 100%. And so what I've done right now, and I'm testing it out, is I've set it at 70. I may end up changing them to 80, I don't know, or maybe even 90 as it is um, suggested, but it, it kind of depends. But what that does is that uh, basically allows for it to track better. Um, and my guiding uh, is down around um, 0.5. Uh, in fact, most of my guiding from the night before, let's see if I open up a log file. And if you have never seen this PhD log viewer, you really need to download it because this thing is wonderful. But if I go, actually I've already got it loaded here. If I go into guiding beforehand, um, my total RMS error is, I don't have my glasses so it's hard for me to see this, but it looks like it says, 49. So, uh, you know, I get great guiding um, when I set that to 70%. So, I may up it a little bit just to see whether or not I get the same kind of guiding. But um, those are the two things that I found that you really kind of need to do. Um, one is in PhD2, and that is go into um, guide and advanced settings and go to the guiding tab. And then there, go down and check that box um, to reverse deck because it's not automatically done in Green Swamp Server, whereas it is in EQ Mod. And then just go in and change those percentage of tracking uh, for both deck and for uh, RA. Uh, the recommendation for EQ Mod is 90%. I always had it at about 70% and got satisfactory guiding. And you can see here that I'm getting satisfactory guiding um, with my 80 millimeter. I'm quite happy with that. So, anyways, short, quick video, just kind of helping pass on some information that I've been able to glean and read through um, regarding on how to configure your system to run with uh, PHD2. Nina and uh, Green Swamp Server. So thanks for watching. Again, short video and uh, clear skies and talk with you all later.